I welcome you, you all to the uh, December 10th, 2020 Board of Public Works and Safety meeting. Uh, can I get a roll call? He's here. 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 Are there any conflict of interest statements of the board? No, sir. No. Approval of the minutes of the meeting of November 19th, 2020. I make a motion we defer the approval of those minutes. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Item A, correspondence. Correspondence received from Mr. Dean Button, City Engineer, with the bid recommendation for the Police Range Training Center. Mr. Button. Good morning, gentlemen. Uh, Good morning. As you recall, uh, last week we opened bids for the Police Range Training Center. Uh, we feel like we got favorable results for those bids. Um, the low bid was $307,800, thank you. Uh, we have reviewed the bids. Everything appears to be in order. They provided all the information that we requested, and we would ask uh, at this time that the board uh, award the contract to Hasse Construction in the amount of $307,800. $307, Correct. Okay. Okay. I'll make a motion that we award the uh, the contract for the Police Range Training Center to Hasse Construction for a total of $307,800. I second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Item B, correspondence received from Capital Improvement Board President Mr. <coughs> Dean Button requesting funding for the Summer Street Phase 1 Columbia Avenue to Willis Avenue project in the amount of $486,455. So I hope you'll bear with me here. Uh, we, as you know, we recently formed the Capital Improvements Board and that now uh, is, a, is a different step for funding purposes, right? So, so there will be times when you'll see green sheets started with uh, the councilman or the council district gaming like you've seen before, but you'll start seeing funding allocations coming from the Capital Improvements Board in this fashion. This project is, uh, is hugely instrumental uh, to improving some of the really uh, poor conditions that happened on Sherman Street, which is one street south of Summer, uh, that happened in May of this year, where we've had a, a surface flooding, overland flooding of the area, and, and, and standing water and combined sewage in the street. Um, this project is a federal aid project, so it's, uh, the, the construction will be funded by 80-20, but the, the design engineering uh, is funded locally 100%. Uh, American Structure Point has helped us with the um, application and has worked through uh, preliminary scoping with uh, the Department of Transportation. Um, it is Summer Street between Columbia and Willis, and the design amount is for $486,455. Uh, this would be spread out over a two-year period because we expect the letting or the bid opening at NDOT to occur December of 2022. So this is, this is these payments will be spread out over a long period of time, and uh, the federal aid project will probably commence in 23. Okay, I'll make a motion to approve uh, the uh, Capital Improvement Board, President Mr. Dean Button's request for the uh, Summer Street Phase 1 project. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Item C, correspondence received from Capital Improvement Board, President Mr. Dean Button requesting funding for the 2020 Community Crossing Design and Construction Engineering Contract to resurface 169th Street, Kennedy Avenue to Indianapolis Boulevard and Sibley Street, Holman Avenue to Seoul Street in the amount of $105,700. Similarly, this was approved as a board action by the Capital Improvements Board on Monday. Yesterday, we received notice from the Indiana Department of Transportation that we in fact received the match money for this project, so uh, which is about 586,000 uh, in, in state match money. Uh, this project is really a fast track because the conditions of the grant are such that uh, when you, you have four months between the time you're awarded the, the money and the time that you have to show a contract in hand, 
with the uh, with the construction contractor. So uh, this this is really needs to happen very quickly. Uh, Capital Improvements Board approved it. The amount of the project is $105,700 with first group engineering to do both. Uh, the well, the application, the design of the project and the construction observation. So this is a one package, which is somewhat unique to community crossings projects. Okay. Okay. I'll make a motion to approve uh, board president, Mr. Dean Button's request for the 2020 community crossing design and construction. Aye, second. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Item D, correspondence received from Midwest Crane Rental requesting permission to close one lane of traffic to remove scaffolding at 1849 Lincoln Avenue beginning December 14th, 2020 and continuing for three days. Mr. Gordish. Uh, yes, I reviewed their close, well, it's actually just one lane restriction. They're gonna put barricades up around it. They have a staging area for, it's the scaffold around a steeple at St. John the Baptist. So they're just gonna take it down, probably put it right on a truck. That's to be determined. So it should be a quick moving project. It may be done in two days. Okay. Sure. Okay, I'll make a motion to approve Midway's Crane Reynolds request. I second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Item E, correspondence received from Chief of Police John Doty requesting approval of Departmental General Order 20-05, Police Officer Support Team. Make a motion to approve Chief Doty's request. Aye, second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, are there any matters from board members? Number seven, matters from other department heads and or the representatives. Mr. Button. Well, this is just more of a point of notification. As you, as you are likely aware, Calumet Avenue uh, at 141st has been restricted to one lane each way. We, I received yesterday notification from NIPSCO that they need to run a gas line across Calumet Avenue that could require further lane restrictions. I haven't seen that maintenance of traffic plan. Um, and uh, what I saw was they're planning on starting Monday. So I have no formal request to make to this board at this time. I'm gonna see if I can get them to push the time back to give us opportunity to review the maintenance of traffic plan. But I just wanted the board to be aware that there is a, a pending gas service to the new Unifirst building that's going up at 141st in Calumet that could have some implications on traffic uh, next week, hopefully meaning, the week after. Meaning more than the two lanes that are open now? Yeah, full closure of Calumet Avenue. Really? Yes, sir. That's what they've requested. And I said, well, this is a state highway, right? You, we, don't, we don't grant permission for closing the highway. Mm -hmm. And I've suggested detour routes for them, but you know, they haven't asked anything uh, official at this point. And I've asked to see their maintenance of traffic plan before it moves forward. But it really, I'd, I'd hate to see this move forward on Monday. It'd just be very too. difficult for the city to to manage that given the current condition of the, of the roadway. So just a matter of, okay. of record, sir. Item eight, any wait, other department wait, heads? Wait, 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 oh yes, oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> Levita Sparks Wade, I'm the incoming director of the United Neighborhoods Incorporated and I just wanted to come up and introduce myself and to keep abreast of the things that are going on in the city of Hammond. Uh, that would fit into the plans that uh, United Neighborhoods Incorporated um, is embarking upon. Right. Thank you, sirs, and I appreciate the opportunity to speak. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you. Item eight, new business. Item A, agreement with American Structure Point, Inc for design engineering in the Summer Street and Columbia Avenue and Willis Avenue project. Mr. Button. Thank you again. Um, as you have previously uh, approved the funding allocation for this project, this is the project I referred to earlier, Summer Street between Columbia and Willis. Uh, it's a federal aid project, 8020. 
uh, split. So the, the, the local the, the local match, city's match would be 20% of construction scheduled to, to go to letting in December of 2022. Represent, representatives from American Structure Point are here today to answer any, any detailed questions about the contract itself. Very straightforward, it's been reviewed by uh, Corporation Council and uh, and obviously you've seen the mayor's agreed to the uh, the funding allocation. So recommend approval of the contract, sir. Sure, I mean, I don't have any uh, specific questions for Mr. Kennedy, but if there's anything he'd like to add to what you just mentioned, be more than happy to hear him out. You're good? All right, sir. Also, uh, Eric Wolverton from American Structure Point is also here behind, behind John. Who's, who's really the technical person in the group, right? What's John's Mr. just the good- What's Mr. Kennedy do? He's the good looking face of the right. organization, okay. sir. Fair enough. Fair enough, um, okay. Okay, I'll make a motion sure. to approve the agreement with American Structure Point. I second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, Mr. Button, for that one. Thank Let's you. go to item B. Uh, agreement with First Group Engineering, Inc. for the 2020 Community Crossing Design and Construction Engineering. Resurface 169th Street, Kennedy Avenue to Indianapolis Boulevard, and Sibley Street, Holman Avenue to Sibley Street. That would be Holman to Seoul. Sorry about the that. The second one? Yeah. Holman uh, Avenue Sibley to Seoul Street. Street. From Holman to oh, like Seoul. you said previous? Yeah, I'm, okay. I, I apologize if there was a, a mix up there. Um, well, actually, it's... 169th from Kennedy to India yeah, and Sibley from Holman to Seoul. Yeah, uh, this is the previous action. We discussed mm -hmm. that. I, I, you don't want me to go through the whole explanation. So I don't. This is the this is the contract reverting back to the agreement. The 105,000 funding well, allocation. Yes, sir. Okay. Approved by the mayor. Okay. Okay. I make a motion to approve the agreement with First Group Engineering. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Item C, change order number four, seven, and eight for the Chicago Street Phase One project. I'm guessing that means designated number 1500221 for subgrade treatment, flowable backfill, and trenchless pipe installation with a cost to the city of $39,600. Yeah, this is a change order, uh, uh, several change orders for the ongoing construction of Chicago Phase 1. Uh, you will never see uh, change orders 5 or 6. It's some NDOT issue, so don't ever expect to see change order 5 or 6. Uh, the, the, the cost is 20% to the city. It's $39,600. i have reviewed this with the controller. Uh, you'll note at the bottom of the of the cover letter, it has her signature or her initials on there mm -hmm. of how that project will be funded. Uh, so you won't don't expect to see a funding allocation sheet for this item in particular. And it's uh, as as mentioned, it's for subgrade treatment, flowable backfill, and uh, a boring that uh, was over was an oversight. Okay. I'd, I'd ask for your approval of, of these three change orders. Okay. Okay, I'll make a motion to approve change orders number four, seven, and eight for the Chicago Street Phase One project. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Item D, renewal and modification of lease agreement between the Lake County Solid Waste Management District and the City of Hammond by its Board of Public Works and Safety for the Environmental Education Center 2405 Calumet Avenue for a period of five years beginning December 1, 2020 and ending November 20th, 2025. Yes, the contract obviously has been negotiated and reviewed by uh, Council for the City. It is a uh, shorter term than the last agreement, but we see that as beneficial to the city and there's also been some concessions with respect to uh, who pays for uh, utilities and the like. That's now not on the city any longer. So okay. we're asking that that be approved. Okay. Sure. okay, I'm gonna make a motion to approve the renewal and modification uh, lease agreement. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Item E, request for a rental registration hearing. Seventh. 
January 7th. Okay, I'm going to make a motion to set that uh, rental registration hearing for January 7th, 2021. I second. All those in favor of that? Aye. 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 Item F, resolution to enter into intergovernmental agreement, I believe, with the Hammond Port Authority regarding pavement payment of invoices for design and related services for the new Hammond Fire Department Station Number 2. Yes, and for the board's information, the Port Authority will be considering this on uh, the 15th. So we're just asking that uh, the board approve the resolution. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Then I will make a motion to approve the resolution, uh, resolution to enter into in intergovernmental with the Hammond Port Authority. I second. All those in favor of that? Aye. 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 Item G. Hearing on property located at 5595 Wallace Road. Um, is this, oh, is this gonna be like the Zoom? I think this is the one that was for Zoom. We were made aware of it this morning. It was, uh, there's actually two properties. Uh, it's a um, duplex. Is anyone there? I don't see anybody else see on the screen. Originally, the duplex came up, it looks like, on the 11-24-20 um, date. It's 59-53 and 59-55 Wallace Road. Um, it looks like under the 59-55, um, the demo hearing notes from 11-19 requested a continuance from attorney Kachkoff due to a conflict with uh, the day and time. Uh, so it looks like they opened, set for bid, and then on 11-19, uh, we accepted a tax deed and proof of payment of the taxes, a proof of ownership, so that way the owner could come in and pay for the demolition inspection. However, I did not see um, any notes indicating that the demo inspection was paid for or performed at this point in time. So, um, like I said, it was, it's a duplex uh, with two properties. Notes on the one indicate that there was an attorney involved representing the owner. The other, um, no one appears. They enter the order and uh, move forward with that one. So that's where we are at today. I do not have the demo file in, in front of me. I, just, well, I thought I Mr. or the attorney Kovachkov was actually supposed to be joining us this morning uh, by Zoom for this very thing, but I don't, I don't see anybody on the screen. That was my understanding as well, so. I, I, I know the information I believe was provided to him, mm -hmm. Chris Campbell, our IT guy. Um, for his what other do? Um, the last notes indicate that, yes, the, the one side of the duplex was, the other has the notes from the attorney asking for a status date, so I'm not sure if that was bid out as well. They're attached, but, um, yeah. At any rate, we're asking that the building Commissioner's order be affirmed by the board. There should be an order in front of you. Uh, like well, I mean, I, we do we do have that. I just um, I just don't know if uh, the attorney Kovachkov needs to be heard in this matter. If you'd like to potentially defer this for a week to see if there's been some sort of communication problem, I, I don't know. I have not. I don't know if the phones are ringing upstairs saying get in <laughs> right no I understand that uh, okay we should do it yeah I mean I, I think uh, we put uh, we, we put out the opportunity for him to participate via zoom we should probably make that available to him or to them well we're only deferring one of the properties though right 5955 is the yeah, one we're is that right I mean I would uh, one question then it looks like a duplex, right? Correct. Right. Yeah. Now, in, in Zone Pro, we have a Carlos Smith as the owner of 5955 Wallace with their address at 5953. And then 5953 has Millard Smith living at 5953. So I'd assume this is a joint owned property with the owners occupying one side. Um, however, I can run Lake County just to verify everything and make sure that you know, it is the same owner. But if you guys. I don't know that it matters if you hold off for a week on both of them, just so council can clarify whether he is talking about one property or both properties. 
So oh, you would suggest, Kristen, we defer them both? I would, I would suggest you defer them both since it is a duplex right. in case there's been some kind of miscommunication with respect to whether this is applying to one address or both addresses. Okay. Okay, then I will make the motion to defer this matter for both 5953 and 5955 Wallace Road to next week's meeting, December 17th, 2020. I second. All those in favor? Hi. Hi. Thank and you. For the record, thank you. And we'll, we'll, we'll follow up once again with Attorney Kovachkov and make sure that the Zoom information is um, available to him. Item H, resolution of the Board of Directors of the Hammond Port Authority authorizing entering into an intergovernmental agreement with the City of Hammond Board of Public Works and Safety regarding payment of invoices for design and related services for New Hammond Fire Department Station number two. I think we dealt with that already, didn't we? We did, yes. okay. we did, okay. So we just need to approve the resolution. Okay. I'm sorry, I apologize. It's okay. Is there anything further you'd like to add, Kristen, or no? No, Okay. I... Okay, then I will uh, make a motion to approve that. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Moving on to old business. Request received to change the date of right-of-way work previously approved by the board on July 9th, 2020. Something with Wide Open West. Mr. Gordish. No, no, they changed the dates. I, they looked like they were going to do the work in August and they want to change it to December 28th to July or January 31st, 2021. It's up north. It's uh, 105, 112th Street, like behind the Walmart. So, uh, unfortunately, I haven't, I haven't seen it. Fiber optic Did cable. Jonathan brought it up. So, yeah, so it should be fine. It, Jonathan's not here right now, um, but we didn't talk about this particularly, but if, okay. if he's okay with it, generally, generally it's fine. So All right. thank you. Okay. Okay. Then I, uh, you got any other questions? You good? Mm. Okay. Then I will make a motion to approve the request for the change of date. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Oh, before I get to meeting open to the public, there are two matters I should have brought up previous, but I will bring them up now. One is a the Holman Avenue Roadway Construction Relocation of Rimbach Fountain slash Art of Mr. Button. Thank you, Mr. President Board. So uh, the city has uh, under contract with American Structure Point the uh, reconstruction of Holman Avenue between Sibley and Russell Street. And that's phase one of Holman. And then phase two is from Russell to Douglas that's going to have federal participation in it. So, so we're redoing downtown Hammond because of the Jeff Speck plan and improving downtown. Part of the plan that was prepared by Structure Point is to re and, 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 and suggested by uh, Jeff Speck is that we realign Rimbach so that it doesn't go, come into Fayette. It, there'll be two T intersections instead of a four way intersection. To, to realign Rimbach, we have to move the fountain art rotunda structure that sits there. Um, and the plan was to move it to the north side of Rimbach in front of the new residential development. So when Structure Point was under was put under contract for for the road reconstruction, we didn't have a good feel, and nor, neither did they about what it was going to take to to scope that as part of the original design. So this is an amendment to handle the relocation of the fountain in the design aspect of it. We suspect that the, the what's going to happen is we will store this uh, structure until such time as it can be re-erected at completion of the residential complex should that move forward. Uh, and so this is for design services, structural, a little bit of a, a landscape flat work design for where the rotunda will now go in the future. 
um, as an amendment to that phase one Holman Avenue contract. It's for $24,700 and, uh, uh, and the Redevelopment Commission has approved funding this project uh, using downtown TIF. And so you won't see a green sheet for that. I'm hopeful that you'll see at some point an intergovernmental agreement between redevelopment and the city of Hammond to, to prove the relationship is there and I would ask that you approve this action. So we're approving the amendment and design, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm going to make a motion to approve the amendment and design with uh, American Structure Point. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. And lastly, um, the board's uh, acknowledging um, a disciplinary matter from the uh, Hammond Police Department, duly noted. Okay. Uh, meetings open to the public. Does anyone here like to speak? Good morning. Good morning. Anne Marie morning. Franklin, 1940 Lincoln Avenue. Thank you for letting me come in to see you again today. I want to give you an update on my property and what has transpired, and I'm here to request an extension on the time to complete my, rehabilit my rehab of it. I had the roof is complete, and that was the first step, because without the roof, I it would be senseless to do anything interior, as you know. It was such a comedy of errors with contractors. I was, ex I had been in contact with Kelly and explained to him over, the fourth one finally completed the job. And thanks to Kiki for going the extra mile, kudos to her because she had, was able to help pull this together. But since then the roof has been complete. I'm not sure if the city has inspected it as of yet. And do I need to leave the sign in the window until they do? No. No, okay. Pardon? They should have took that with them. I put it inside because of the elements. I am in the process of getting estimates to uh, take care of the electric and to have a furnace installed. This afternoon I have NIPSCO meeting me at the property to reconnect the utilities and my request to you is to amend the time to get these repairs complete. That's, I guess that's Oh, did you have questions or? No, I'm just I'm, okay. I'm just vague on when the extension or when the uh, deadline is. Uh, I, I don't, I'm not sure of the deadline for we have agreement, but I would like to continue is for 90 days for status. Um, while she's getting contractors in to get estimates on, on the electric and what exactly needs to be done. Um, some of the contractors have come in have kind of went overboard as far as what they needed to do, um, as far as tear ceilings and walls are down. Um, so we're getting something that's a little more reasonable as far as getting this uh, house safe. So I think oh, we can accomplish that in 90 days. That's fair enough with you? With, realistically, with my track record and contractors, I probably need six months, but if <laughs> well, not, we're, we're, we're going to take baby steps. <laughs> I mean, right? 90 days, and if, sure. if, not, if the progressor hasn't been inspected, hasn't been finished, um, I will address the board and let them know that. I'd be um, very happy to accept 90 11, days if okay. you're kind enough to grant March 11th? it. March 11th, that's roughly 90 days. Is that yes. March 11th, 2021? March 11th, yeah. 2021. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to make a motion to uh, approve her request for a continuance and set this over for March 11th, 2021 for a status. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you. Happy holidays. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Anybody else uh, in the public would like to speak? Okay, I'll make a motion to adjourn the meeting. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you.